on Abby. I never have because I'm not one of you. It's not my place. So how much he's to blame or complicit in the situation, I have no idea whatsoever. Some of you know that I've been keeping track of the massacres of Amhara at least back to the summer of 2020. And it is horrible. And people have sent me Excel sheets, literal Excel sheets on victims. Massacre after massacre after massacre. And I don't have the answer for you. So, is it causing this thing? That's useless. Um, I don't have an answer for you. You have a parliament, and they wouldn't even have a discussion in the parliament. You know, maybe you saw that. So a gentleman, a representative said, can we talk about this? And the Speaker of the House said, no, nope, we're not going to do that. Which, yeah, I have a big problem with, because that's what parliament is for. But I can't take a position, and you wouldn't want me to take a position, because I'm not one of you. But I will help you. I will help you and always be there for you in terms of reporting this kind of information in terms of the massacres, in terms of what's happening to Afar people, in terms of what's happening to Amhara people, in terms of what's happening to other minorities. But I can't, I don't know what to tell you in terms of Abby because I honestly don't know in terms of the level of government complicity. Sometimes I get inside information in terms of what the military is doing and I can tell you that some, without giving too much away, I know that some action has been taken against OLF Shenny. That is not, but I don't, I can't give you the details of it yet because it's not my story to share yet. But, and I know that's not a very satisfying answer, but the reason why I'm here is because of those 1,500, what's it up to now, 1,500 people? And I'm the only white guy here which is pretty damn horrible. You know, why are there other people here with you, standing with you, grieving with you? That's what gets me angry. The rest in terms of the government, that is for you to sort out. You have a parliament. If you don't like him, hit the streets and march. Make your feelings felt, you know, organize that so that he gets replaced through legal means. All, all I will go as far as saying is, you now have the institution of a democracy for the first time ever in Ethiopian history. Use it. Use that to make your changes, your feelings felt. Make those changes felt. And the rest we'll hopefully figure out together. And if you need my help, ask me. Because um, I'll be there for you. But I don't have a, I don't have a policy on him because I honestly don't know. I couldn't even understand what you were saying up there. I've got to learn your language. You know, I'm an ally, but I still have to educate myself. I hope that does the trick for now, and I'm very sorry for what happened, and that's why I'm here. I understand the rage and the frustration. The, the only way to make grief useful is to turn it into community action. You're not happy? Make yourselves, make your feelings felt through marches, through protests, through voting. You know, gather together and do that, you know, and figure out, we gotta figure out new tactics. In terms of unity, the enemy is loving this. The enemy loves this. I don't know what, who you wanna back or who you wanna support, but I can tell you, TPLF and OLF Shenny are loving the lack of unity. You know, they are storing their fuel and they're getting ready to invade again soon. And they have their eyes on Wakaya. And Wakaya is the red line. Don't let them have it. Don't ever let them have it. And that's all I want to say. Okay.